Hey, it's that time of the show. It's called Cleared for Takeoff. And Rich Kaplan is going to touch on the amazing 10-year anniversary of the Miracle on the Hudson. Take it away, Rich. Thank you, Howie. The Miracle on the Hudson really was a Miracle on the Hudson because everything that could have gone wrong did go wrong, but yet everything that could go right went right. You had an air traffic controller that knew exactly what was happening, worked with Sully every step of the way. You had a pilot who was military trained, knew exactly what he was doing, calm, cool, and collected, and a co-pilot who knew exactly what to do as well. The aircraft itself, which was an Airbus A320, suffered a dual engine strike with the um, birds. Canada geese are notorious for bird strikes, especially around LaGuardia and JFK. You have a lot of bird sanctuaries around um, JFK. So it's not unusual that this happens, but a dual engine failure is extremely rare. I compare it to winning the lotto twice in a row. You will never see this again. And yet, that's exactly what happened with Captain Sullenberger. It happened in the morning. You had an experienced crew. You had a flight going to Charlotte, South Carolina, I believe. And you had an experienced pilot who knew exactly what to do. And in these situations, what makes this so rare is there were no fatalities, Howie, because the ferries were on the scene within minutes. That's a beautiful thing. If you're going to crash, I say crash in New York, because at least you know that you have all the resources there ready to go in a moment's notice. The NYPD trains constantly for this. In fact, I went, when I went to pick my friend Julie up at the airport, I saw the NYPD training with the Bell 412 out over by um, Floyd Bennett Field. And you see the divers jump out of the helicopter into the water to rescue cadavers, or in this case, dummies. But what's amazing is that these men and women risk their lives every single day, and they hardly get the credit they deserve. And I have to credit the NYPD. They did an incredible job, Howie. They were there within minutes. And what's amazing is that all the resources were there for a rescue. The plane floated, it did its job. I was amazed that it floated for as long as it did. Honest and truthful, I was very am amazed that the Airbus floated as long as it did. But you gotta realize that Cactus 1549 was a once in a lifetime event. And I'm very blessed that I was alive to see this happen because we've learned a lot from it. We've learned that if there is indeed a bird strike and it affects both engines, we need to divert the aircraft to the nearest available airport with the resources to accommodate. Fortunately, Sullenberger had Teterboro, he had Newark, but unfortunately, he had, the, he had the peace of mind to know that he wasn't going to make these airports because the engines were so badly damaged they weren't generating lift anymore. So the only thing he could do is put it down in the Hudson River. And the Hudson River, fortunately, where he put it down was an area where I believe he, he knew where he was putting it down because... He knew the ferries were going to be out there. He knew that the boats were going to be out there. He knew that he had the rescue resources he needed. And what's remarkable is if you look at medevacs, traditionally medevac rescues, and that medevac is a term for helicopter rescues, helicopters have a huge advantage in the sense that they do not have to drive on the highways. They fly in the air, and they're there within minutes. The ferries, the same principle. They were on the scene, you had three ferry boats on the scene within minutes loading passengers off the wings of this aircraft onto the boats. The helicopter is there for the most serious rescue, like God forbid you have a heart attack, a cardiac arrest. They're there to hoist you out of the water into the aircraft through Bambi Basket. And it, the whole process takes not even five minutes. But what's amazing is that the NYPD didn't have to do that. They had everything ready to go. 
The FDNY also had a lot of resources on the scene. They had fire boats on the scene. So I can't credit the NYPD without crediting the FDNY. Both divisions work seamlessly together. You know, you hear about the rivalries and so forth. There's no rivalry when it comes to saving a life. That's the most important thing is that they were there within minutes, they knew exactly what they were dealing with, and that's why you had a miracle on the Hudson, because everybody worked together. And when we work together, we can accomplish anything. It's called teamwork. And without teamwork, the dream just does not work. Thank you very much, Richard. And let me, let me also add that uh, in Richard's time on the show, uh, one of his very best segments he ever did was when um, uh, Richard interviewed the air traffic controller from Miracle on the Hudson, who just happens to live in Long Beach. I'll never forget that phone call when I called Richard up and I said, uh, Richard, tomorrow I have lined up the air traffic controller from the Miracle on the Hudson. And that was a great interview. So there you have it. Great job, Rich Kaplan. Thank you.